Hi, hello, and welcome back to another uh, video uh, right here from Classic Music and Arts. Um, today we have quite a uh, an interesting topic, but before we dive into that, uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Ernesto Raimat, and I am a percussion teacher for Classic Music and Arts. And uh, just before I started this video, a friend of mine told me that I could live stream these like on several pages on Facebook. So I'm going to do, try to do that now, but the thing is that I can only do that while I'm live. So in the meantime, <clears throat> let me remind you that um, here, Classic Music and Arts Institute, it's part of Tunes Oman, so quite a famous company here in Oman. So we are tunesomanonline.com, that's a, a music shop online, and we have uh, free delivery or in the hollow area of Mascot. So any instrument related things, any musical related things that you want to get from us, uh, they will be available there. And uh, at the same time, I wanted to uh, let you know that Classic Music and Arts, our school, is offering online lessons. Okay, so you can uh, book classes with us and you have a private session with, the, with our teachers. So you can choose between uh, some all sorts of instruments, so piano, violin classes, guitar classes, vocal classes, uh, even if you want to learn uh, some uh, guitar or piano classes in Arabic, we can also do that for you. Drum classes, of course, that will be with me. So, and at the moment we have running this, uh, this offer, which is going to be running all throughout May and June. So you can get eight lessons with us for 40 reels. Yep, so you get a four weeks uh, validity on your purchase and uh, I, I think that's a very good uh, option right now uh, to get some uh, music training from your house from the comfort of your house so here we are I'm sharing this post live there we go and some different pages that I'm running here great so we have all of that running Excellent, great, good. So I'm sharing to all my pages right here. Great, and I hope more of you guys uh, start joining these videos. Um, today I have, a, I think is a very interesting topic. I'm going to be talking about uh, some <clears throat> uh, different styles of music. Uh, that you can just play right now. So th those are like super simple. With all the, the previous things that we talked in the, the other two videos that I've done, I think we have enough information right now so we can start playing all sorts of other rhythms. So as a reminder, the first week we talked about... Um, okay, so everything is running in all the pages. So on the first week, we talked a little bit about techniques that we can uh, get uh, right at home. So very simple exercises that you can practice just to get your, your hand technique to get some sort of speed. And uh, last week we talked about how to jam to like all, any type of song, okay? So understanding the beats that you're doing on your drum kit and, and, and how to fill that into the structure of any song by counting beats, by creating some sort of a self a structure inside our own beats. So that um, sort of a lesson, I think that was interesting. So today I'm going to be doing uh, a little bit more of that, like same thing, but I'm going to be trying that in different styles of music. Okay, so we're going to be talking about uh, rock music, how to play rock, how to play pop music, funk, uh, how to play to like different types of blues. Uh, we can also learn a little bit about jazz music. Um, and then at the end I have, um, as a surprise, I'm going to be talking about a couple of uh, Latin beats that are quite popular here in Oman. So I hope you guys liked it uh, and uh, you enjoy it and you also learn a little bit here. Now, the, uh, the purpose of these videos, these are not going to be like two deep uh, music lessons. I'm going to be talking roughly about a lot of these ideas on these videos. So the idea is, of course, to try to get you a little bit excited, a little bit more curious about uh, learning music. So then you can go back to 
classic music and arts, okay? We're basing them on in Mascot, so you can get uh, your online lessons with us. We have a lot of teachers and most of our teachers, um, we, uh, we come from Cuba, okay? So you're going to get a, an interesting accent throughout your class. Yeah, and uh, I think a, a very uh, high qualified uh, opinion and, and, and method to teach music with all our team over here. Okay, so let's get into uh, today's uh, lesson. Let me share on the comments right now. This is the, f the YouTube page that, uh, that I'm getting all the music that I'm going to be using uh, today from. So I think uh, Facebook and YouTube, they might have some sort of like filter. So if I use uh, original songs on my uh, video, it might get deleted or something. So I'm trying to use like uh, um, free royalty music. So um, it's easier for me to work with. Okay, so let's get into today's topic. Right here, if you remember from last week, <clears throat> we learned how to do some uh, simple rock beats. So we're going to work on that uh, today as well. And uh, uh, we're going to be talking about the difference between what a rock beat is or what a pop beat uh, will be. So they are very similar. All of them, they are going to work into a uh, eighth note uh, pattern on your hi-hat, okay, or your right hand. And then the rest is going to be based on, on your bass drum and snare. Now, the difference between these two is that rock music is going to do a lot, uh, a, a huge emphasis on your bass drum and snare beats. So those are going to be like quite strong. You, you want them to be quite loud and, uh, and uh, important for your groove while you keep just your tempo on your right hand. Again, you can change uh, the sound of uh, all of those, um, like from the hi-hat to, to a crash or a right cymbal. And I have uh, one, some sort of like a heavy rock track here that I want to try. <clears throat> so you can get all of these, uh, the idea of a rock beat, how to play that rock, and then we will see the difference with the rest of the styles. Now, a little uh, bit of a disclaimer here. Now, every time I have to play, I need to get out of this screen <clears throat> because for some reason, uh, the music will get some sort of a delay. So we won't be hearing uh, the drum and the music synchronized. And the other thing is that I'm using a Yamaha DTX Multi-12, which is a um, multi-pad, it's a drum pad. So it's not a real drum kit. So I don't have the same position here as I will have on, on, on an, uh, any other sort of electronic drum kit or even an acoustic drum kit. And at the same time, <clears throat> unfortunately, I do not have access to any hi-hat pedal Okay, so anything that should be on a hi-hat with my foot, it's not going to sound. So I'm going to try to make it work for you guys. And let's start. So the first beat we have is a uh, rock beat. So let's get into this one.
Okay, there we go. Okay, that was a fun track to play too. Okay, so that will be just a, a rock uh, beat. That's just an example. There are so many types of rock uh, styles that you can play. The heavy metal, you have trash metal, you have uh, whatever metal uh, track you want to put over there. So this is more like a classic rock kind of uh, feel. Okay, so let's change that and let's move on into, okay, pop music. Now, pop music, it has a lot of things in common with rock music as they are both based on uh, some sort of like the same patterns for your groove in the way that we're going to uh, to count them. Okay, so again, we have our eighth notes on the hi-hat. Uh, we get our bass drum, uh, snare, kind of uh, dialogue, melody between them. But now what happens here with this uh, pop music, pop music is going to be way softer, way lighter than uh, rock music, of course. So my snare is going to have uh, way more um, ghosted notes. These are notes that I'm going to play in between the, the, the main beats, uh, just some like to give it some more color to the music. And the same way it's going to happen with the bass drum. The bass drum is going to have more freedom. So there is what we call subdivision on the beat. So instead of just thinking of eighth notes, now I can start thinking throughout my beat for um, um, the, this subdivision. So what we call semi-quavers or 16th notes. So I'm going to fill all those uh, notes on my groove with this uh, bass drum uh, snare kind of uh, melody that I can create. Okay, so let's change back here. Now the next song I'm going to play <clears throat> It's, uh, it's a popular song. Okay, this is the only one thing I can play here live. Uh, it's part of the rock and pop program from Trinity College of London. This is an amazing program that Trinity has for uh, rock and pop music. Okay, so our school, it's uh, accredited, so we uh, train uh, students to, to present for these exams, okay? So these are some sort of exams that we have. And uh, this song, it's uh, from one of those um, from one of those uh, books. So we have Namira. Oh my God, Namira, so nice to see you. Great, thank you for joining the video. Oh God, that brings so much memories. Great, excellent. Okay, so the next song, it's uh, Dancing in the Moonlight. Uh, it's a very popular song, so um, I'm not going to play exactly the same part of the drum of the original track, but uh, for sure I'm going to be uh, following the beats again, following back to last week's uh, topic, just jamming to music. Okay, guys, this is about having fun, okay? So the, the more fun you're having while you're playing drums, then you're doing great, okay? So uh, don't worry about uh, like missing notes or, or, or not playing the exact notes that were on the original track. No, 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 this is none of that. This is just having fun, we're jamming, okay? These are very stressful times, so I think that we can use that philosophy uh, for, for, for this moment. Okay, so let's get into the next song. This is in a pop style. So you, you'll see the difference between these two. Great.
Okay, so another great song over there. I love playing that song. I get excited with um, um, the students are playing. My students are playing that song right now, so I get all crazy and dancing around the, the room when they play that song. Great. So that was it for uh, rock um, and pop music. So hopefully you got to see the difference between those two. Now, another very similar style that we uh, have. It's, uh, let's change that screen. Okay, so it's funk music. Now, funk music, it, it's uh, some sort of a mixture between all that rock and pop with some sort of a freedom from the jazz music. So what happens here with our uh, groove? The groove is going to change a little bit. Um, don't worry about all the notes. If you don't understand about the notes, that's fine. You'll get to hear me playing a little bit. And I'm just putting those uh, notations there for, uh, for those who understand how to read some music so you get to see some uh, samples, okay? So this is not the only way to play these styles, okay? So those are just uh, ideas for you guys. So uh, what happens with funk music is that funk music, uh, apart from being driven by that uh, eighth notes pattern on, on the hi-hat, or, or at least that the way that we're going to count, it's going to be um, that uh, the bass drum and snare are, are often going to be playing around with the, the main beats of that, uh, of that bar, of that measure of that counting. So we have four beats, but sometimes usually we want to land our snare uh, on, on beats two and four. But what happens with uh, funk music is that sometimes it misses those notes and it plays around with your mind, th making you think that the, the way of counting changed. So it, it's super fun to play. Um, and let's see, so I, I, I'm going to play a little bit of uh, the one that's here on the top. Okay, <clears throat> so you get an idea. And then let's uh, talk a little bit about that last one over there. Okay, so the first one that we have here, and I'll have to read from quite far. I didn't notice that when I was preparing this video. Okay, so um, the first one is <clears throat> going to sound some sort of like this. Uh, Okay, so if you notice, it had some more movement between bass drum and snare. Okay, so that's the idea. Now, what happens with uh, the one at the end? This one called Paradiddle Funk. The Paradiddle Funk, if you remember from my first video, we talked about the important exercises or, or basic exercises that every drummer should uh, practice or should play. Um, so one of them was the Paradiddles, which is a combination, is a single stroke with a double stroke at the end. And now when playing that between hi-hat and snare, okay, we get some uh, a, a dynamic melody happening there. And that's often used in some funk uh, grooves. So just to, to give you an idea, how does that sound? That will be a pattern of right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Now that play between hi-hat and snare, we get this. Right, left. Okay, and that played faster. Okay, so it gives you that nice uh, funky feeling. Okay, so now let's play some funk uh, music. So let's go back here. Now I have a track here. Now, uh, let me tell you from now that uh, today's video is going to be a little bit longer than the previous videos. And uh, some of the tracks that I have here are just basic loops. So I'm not going to play them full, the full length. So otherwise the video is going to last like uh, three, four hours. So let's continue here. We have funk music.
Okay, so that's uh, one of my favorite fun tracks that I have uh, in, in, in my library uh, just to practice. These are um, tracks that I will use uh, kind of like to, to de-stress from after a long day at work or something like that. Um, you just get home, plug your headphones, play this sort of music and uh, believe me guys, that really helps. Okay, so now let's dive a little bit into um, the beginnings, the roots of jazz music, okay, and what makes uh, a beat to be uh, suitable to play some jazz tracks, okay. So one of the concepts that, that we have here, it's, um, this is not, a, um, it's not going to be a, a genre, okay, or a style of music, it's more of a, a, a way of playing the drums. We call it shuffle. And shuffle, of course, there is a, like a, a jazz uh, ramification that is just called like that, the shuffle. So if anyone tells you uh, on a jam session or something like that, like, hey, we're going to play this one in a shuffle tempo, so you'll get to know what, what that means. And uh, that's basically, um, uh, we're going to start now um, shuffling the notes. Okay, so it's some sort of a triplet that we have in the bar. Again, we have the same count of four main beats, but now each beat is going to be uh, over a triplet, a pattern of a triplet. We're playing just the first and last note of that triplet. So that's going to give us that uh, feeling of, uh, of not being stable, it's not being straight, the whole pattern. So it sounds some sort of like this. Okay, so one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Okay, so that's the pattern that you're going to get on your hi-hat. Now that's very popular and shuffle tempos or shuffle times or shuffle hi-hats, shuffle notes, whatever it is, uh, they're going to be used in all some, uh, sorts of uh, styles, okay? So not only uh, for um, the shuffle tempo for jazz music, but you're going to see it later how we can use it in, in other things. Okay, there are two ways that we can play that. Uh, we can play a straight shuffle, which is the first example we have here. Uh, we'll get a bass drum and snare. There are very variations to that, so this is just a very simple one, where we, kept, uh, we keep the hi-hat. One and two and three and four and one, and two and three and four and one, and two and three and four and one. Okay, so that's basically it. That's uh, our shuffle tempo here. And it's used for a lot of uh, other styles. Uh, the ones that I have here, are basically some uh, blues kind of uh, rock, rock blues uh, mixture uh, using this shuffle tempo. There is that one, and the other one is just a, a half time shuffle. So the the second one is the one that I'm not going to play a full track on that. So let's just have a little bit of fun uh, playing some shuffle over some blues uh, rock. Here we go. See guys, this is the thing, by doing videos live. So I forgot to change from that other screen. So I'm guessing that the whole track was not synchronized with what I was playing. So let's try that again. Great. This is crazy. This is the first time I'm doing all of this. It's like working on television, uh, but without knowing how to do it. Okay, so let's try one more time.
okay, great, excellent. So that's it, that's a shuffle tempo. Okay, now there are different ways that you can play that, of course, and, uh, and faster beats. But uh, right now, let's uh, move into that half shuffle tempo. Now, this is one I'm not going to be playing all throughout the, the whole track. It's way too long and, and it's just a loop. So you get an idea what a half tempo would be. So basically what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to be missing, <clears throat> I'm going to be stretching, okay? The, the, the gap where I have uh, the, the bass drum and snare, okay? So my bass drum and snare are no longer going to be one, two, three, and four. So I'm going to stretch that so my snare it's on three. My bass drum is on one, my snare on three. And the same thing is going to happen on the other bar. So this is how it goes. Okay, so that's the idea, <clears throat> uh, you get it. Now, what happens with that is that uh, I, I, I kept my hand at the same tempo of the previous song. Now, make sure that when you're doing these shuffle tempos, okay, you want to do the accents on the strong beats of those patterns you have on your right hand. So you don't want to make it sound ta, 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 like all the time at the same level. And this is something that we can talk uh, in the um, uh, coming weeks, okay? Like how to get your pro sound, not to sound all the time like, a, like a, uh, at a beginner level. So trick, small things that, that you can do to improve your performance. Okay, so uh, out of this group, okay, of course we have to talk about like those shuffle beats. We need to talk about uh, swing patterns, okay? And now swing patterns, this is going to be the main rhythm that you're going to be doing if you're doing as all sort of like uh, jazz songs, okay, or jazz pieces. Now, what happens with the swing patterns is that again, it's based on that triplet on your hands, but it's not repeating it all the time, okay? So it's creating that uh, swing feel that we have on the right cymbal or, or, or the hi-hat. So I'm going to show you here um, from the first uh, line we have, that will be the pattern. So if, if we count it in, in four beats, it should sound like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one. Okay, so that's your swing pattern. Now to that, there are millions and millions and millions of co uh, coordination and combinations that you can do between your bass drum and snare. There are tons of books that are going to dive like super deep into this uh, topic. But right now we just want to get that first swing pattern that you can play. And I was thinking, when I when I started thinking uh, creating this video for you guys today, uh, like for who do I want this video to be more interesting? And uh, I, um, it reminded me that uh, Tunes organizes uh, open mics and Often we get a lot of guys coming with a guitar and they, they ask for, hey, is there any drummer on the crowd that can join me or uh, things like that. And I'm sure that a lot of times, because I know some amazing drummers here in Oman, uh, that sometimes we feel shy, we don't want to go on stage and, and perhaps like we're not too confident with the rhythms that, that we want to do or the rhythms that the song is at. So I hope that with this uh, combination of, of, of different styles that you can do, uh, next time, when there is an open mic, why not join us and you can jam with us in any style. Okay, so I have uh, one track, it's a, a full jazz song that I'm going to be playing on this style. So again, let's not make that again, let's go back to this page, there we go. And now let's play in swing style.
Oh, okay, guys. So that was uh, a, a swing beat that we can play over uh, using this uh, swing uh, beat jazz. Okay, so um, I'm going to leave the video um, here uh, today, and perhaps next week we can go back to uh, the rest of the the tracks that uh, that we talked about. So we can do uh, talked a little bit about that uh, Latin beat that we can play, while at the same time uh, we can get you uh, into playing, uh, getting you out of that uh, uh, beginner kind of uh, playing. Okay. So I think that this has been a, an amazing session, uh, even for me, I'm all sweating here. Okay, so uh, we'll leave it there. And let me just remind you that we are going to uh, have, uh, Classic Music and Arts is having this uh, special offer for online lessons, okay? So these are just private sessions that you uh, have with a teacher and they could be uh, between uh, piano, violin, uh, guitar, um, vocal lessons and drums of course with uh, myself so um, this is a good chance a very good chance to get a lot of lessons there um, now that we're ending Ramadan so we can start uh, celebrating uh, what comes after okay so great so again one more time um, visit tunesomanonline.com to get uh, your instruments, your books, your, your tools, your equipment, whatever you need related to music, it's right there. And we do completely free delivery in the whole area of Mascot. So my name is Ernesto Raimat, and I'm going to uh, just uh, say goodbye for today. I hope you, you like this session. Um, you can go back to this video and check all those patterns that I had there. I share at the beginning uh, the link where I got all this music from. So you can uh, check the same exact tracks and, and practice over them and just have fun. Okay, so that will be all for today, guys. Thank you very much. And I hope to see you next Thursday at four, uh, talking a little bit more about music and drums. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>